Lori Graves is joining us today. Lori is our ELA coordinator. And Lori, we just saw how OL Slayton is preparing for the STAR, and everyone should be getting ready for STAR now, right? Absolutely. It's coming up. Yes. So we have a lot to do between now and the end of the school year, but one of those things is STAR coming up in May. Yes. And so for our families that are getting ready for that, what are some tips you can give them to make sure their students are ready to do their best? Well, first and foremost, our kids, along with our teachers, have been working so hard all year long. And so we want to just keep up that hard work, make sure that our attendance remains good and that we're showing up every day. And then having those conversations at home to help ease some nerves, just reminding them they just have to do their best. And we hear a lot of the typical testing uh, tips as far as getting a good night's sleep and eating breakfast, are those things still important? Absolutely. Um, as a mom too, I remind my own kiddo, it's like every other day. I want you to wake up rested for school. I wanna make sure you eat a good breakfast so that they walk in feeling um, ready to go. And so when students arrive at school um, and they're sitting there in front of the test, um, what are some things that they can do to help kind of calm their nerves if they're feeling anxious about the testing process? I think it's important to take a deep breath, think about what their teachers have taught them, think about the testing strategies that they personally need to be successful, um, and then just remind themselves as long as they do their best, that's all that matters because they're ready. Well, and we mentioned that you're the RLA coordinator. For those that don't know, that's reading and language arts. Yes. So we know that all school year, um, teachers and students have prepar been preparing hard to take the STAR. So tell us about some of the things that have happened this school year as teachers have worked to get kids ready for the test. So one of the things that we've spent a lot of time talking about are just what do good readers do? because it doesn't matter if it's a test or if it's just a regular assignment in any content area, I've gotta be a reader. And so thinking about that I need to chunk that text, I need to um, think about what it's talking about, what do I know about this text, what questions do I have, and make those notes out to the side. So that's something we focused on all year. We're all gearing up in all content areas for rock and review. And so that is starting and we're super excited. It's just a fun way for kids to show their teachers and themselves what they've worked on all year and how prepared they really are for this test. Well, and there's still time if parents or students have questions or they wanna to talk to someone at school um, about getting ready for the test or some other tips or just support um, as they're heading into the process, who are some people they can reach out to at school? They can always reach out to their child's teacher. They can um, email any of us in the curriculum and instruction department and we can help talk them through. And then I just recommend really talking to your kid, maybe about setting goals. So not that I wanna make 100 on this test, but that I'm gonna give it my very best. And when I start feeling tired, maybe I'm gonna stop and take a break. Um, setting goals like that, that so I'm not so much worried about what my score is going to be, but how I'm going to attack it when I start feeling tired. Well, and Lori, so for some like final words of wisdom about the test, what would you tell students? Um, the th you are ready and you have worked hard all year long. Your teachers have prepared you and that this test doesn't define you. As long as you can leave knowing you gave 100%, that's all that matters. Well, that is great advice for all of us, I think. <laughs> so, Lori, thanks for sharing some tips for the STAR test with Thank us today. Thanks for having me. Of course.